It's um sometime. Hi guys, can you guess the title of my next video? Huh? Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. What is a hangover? Hmm? Usually, when we drink too much alcohol, we experience an extreme headache, nausea, vomiting, etc. the next morning. This condition is called a hangover. Hmm. Now, we get a hangover oh. because alcohol is a diuretic. This means it makes you urinate a lot, making us lose more water and thus causing our body to get dehydrated. When our body gets oh. dehydrated, it begins to steal water from the brain, causing it to shrink and thus giving us a hangover headache. In addition to this, when we drink alcohol, our liver breaks down the alcohol into toxic acetaldehyde and then into harmless acetate. However, when we drink too much, we cannot convert toxic acetaldehyde as quickly as usual. Hence, it begins to build up in our body and thus causing hangover nausea and vomiting. Moreover, different types of alcohol have different amounts of congeners, which are basically impurities. If we drink the alcohol which has more congeners, then it can increase the severity of a hangover. Huh? Why do mosquitoes bite only some people? Cause they are lazy. Nah. Huh? There are a number of reasons why some people are more prone to mosquito bites. One of them is body odor. Millions huh? of bacteria which live on our skin produce various gases. These gases form our body odor. Oh. Some of these body odors attract the mosquitoes. <laughs> so, this is the reason why mosquitoes prefer me? Huh? Besides this, a popular research huh? found that mosquitoes <laughs> tend to bite people with type O blood nearly oh. twice as often as those with type A. Exercising can also entice mosquitoes. This is because when we exercise, we release more carbon dioxide, heat, and sweat. Mosquitoes can detect this carbon dioxide and heat. They can also sense various substances in our sweat, such as lactic acid, oh. thus making us more likely to get bitten. Oh. Topic, Newton's third law of motion. Why does a swimmer push the water backward? Oh no, there's a hole in the boat. Now, how will you reach the shore? Don't worry, do as I say. Jump in the water and push the water backward with your hands. This will help you to move forward towards the shore. <laughs> no, you are not pushing the water backward. See, you are moving forward towards the shore. Hmm. Do you know why you were able to move forward by pushing the water backward? Hmm. To understand this, you need to learn about Newton's third law of motion. Oh. Newton's third law of motion states that, for every action, there is an uh. equal and opposite reaction. <laughs> nah, not that action. Wait, let me explain. Hmm. When we swim, we apply force and push the water backward with the help of our hands. This is action. In response to this action, the water pushes us forward with an equal force. This is reaction. Thus, in order to move forward and swim, the swimmer pushes the water backward. <laughs> How are pearls formed? It's a top secret. I can't reveal it. All right, I'll tell huh? you. Pearls are the result of a biological process within living sea creatures like an oyster <laughs> as it protects itself from foreign substances. Wow, the oyster looks beautiful. Indeed, an oyster has two shells. Inside the shells, huh? there is an organ called mantle. Mantle covers and protects all the internal organs of the oyster. 
Whenever any foreign substance like a grain of sand or a parasite makes its way into the oyster and gets stuck in between the shell and mantle, oh. the mantle's natural reaction is to cover that foreign substance to protect the oyster's internal organs. For this, the mantle secretes a mineral called nacre around the foreign substance in layers. Over time, layer upon layer oh. of nacre leads to the <laughs> formation of a pearl. <laughs> Why do we see only one side of the moon? Because the other side is shy. <laughs> nah. Our moon takes about 27 uh. days to rotate around its own axis and 27.3 days to revolve around the Earth. This means the moon rotates around its axis at almost the same rate or speed as it revolves around the Earth. Hence, the same side of the moon is constantly facing the Earth, making us see only one or same side of the moon. However, if the moon did not rotate on its axis, oh. then we could see the other side of the moon. We would also see the other side if the moon rotated oh. in 13.5 days. That is, it made two rotations in one revolution. But this is not the case. However, an interesting fact is that due to the elliptical orbit of the moon, we can see almost 59% of the moon's surface. Hmm.